Welcome to In the Field. Today we're on site covering the most efficient ways to climb a utility pole from the ground. The body positioning techniques we'll cover are going to make a big difference in how much strain is put on your shoulders and knees during a climb. So let's go ahead and check it out. Taking bigger steps might seem like the right approach to get up the pole faster. But watch as this lineman climbs using that technique. When the knee travels higher than the hip, it causes the legs to fatigue more quickly. That creates instability in the lower body, increasing strain on the knees. Taking smaller steps where the knee stays at or below the hip isn't just a smoother way to climb. It's also going to reduce knee strain on the way up and the way down. Side by side, it's not hard to see how taking smaller steps is the more efficient way to climb. Another way some linemen try to get up the pole faster is by making large sweeping motions while lifting the safety harness strap. But it won't be long before that technique starts to fatigue the shoulders, neck, and upper back. Try to keep the strap in the power zone and lift using smaller wrist flips. This method reduces muscle and joint strain and makes it much easier to find a steady climbing rhythm. It might just get you up the pole faster too. Additionally, keeping your feet at a 45 degree angle against the pole will distribute force more evenly on your ankles and knees. And when you do get to where you're working, avoid leg fatigue by shifting your weight from side to side and only locking out one knee at a time. So, on your next climb, take small steps on the way up from the ground, keep it in the power zone when raising the safety strap, and place your feet at a 45 degree angle against the pole. It's not only going to be more efficient, but you'll feel better at the end of the day too. Thanks for watching. I'm Coach Steve, and we'll catch you next time for another edition of In the Field.